Hey good people, how are we doing? Now is the uncorking of the limoncello. This has been sitting in the freezer all day waiting for me. Along with my two limoncello glasses. Nice and chilled. So this is, uh, is going to be a taste test and an explanation of the flavors to you and this is also a toast to my good friend in San Diego, Marcos Mendez. Uh, we were trying to hook up and, you know, fly to each other's state and, and just hang out a little bit, maybe do a shave video or something, but it didn't just didn't work out for us either way. You know, I couldn't go out there, and things turned out he couldn't come out here, and I was, you know, telling him, hey, this, maybe this isn't a good time anyway. So, anyway, I'm going to give him a toast, this limoncello. Now, the, what I get from it so far is the scent is like really, um, it's not over overpowering. It's a nice, pleasant lemon scent. And it's kind of pouring out a little bit syrupy. That's because of the sugar I put in there. I made a simple, simple, uh, simple syrup with sugar and water. So, <clears throat> I'm going to make two toasts because I have two glasses. I'm drinking by myself, right? <clears throat> Here's to you, brother. Marcos Mendez and from San Diego. Uh, El Chingon. So uh, I want you to uh, to uh, kind of remember the conversations we had. And you're always going to be in my heart and my prayers. And, uh, uh, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm proud that you're, that you're uh, a good father. I can tell you're a good father and you love your son and probably your daughter too, as, as much too. But uh, this is to you. A little bit sweet. I would say too sweet. This isn't. This stuff isn't main, meant to just sit there and drink all night, though. Just to have it, have a little, uh, little taste, and that's it. <clears throat> um, the flavor is um, pretty light lemony, but it's not like watered down melt lemony. You know what that would taste like? Pretty bad. Like watered down lemonade would taste pretty sour. This isn't like that. It's got a, a nice uh, lemony flavor to it. Um, it just hangs on your tongue really nice. It's got a ma nice mouth feel to it. Um, the color is in this glass here is, so as you can see, uh, it's very pleasant. This is very pleasant stuff. I bought these glasses, uh, especially for when Marcos came out. We're going to do a toast. So, this is my second toast to him, to live long and prosper, man. You know, if you want to take some classes out there and put yourself in a better situation, a more interesting situation, then go for it, man. If those courses aren't that long and you can accomplish a lot with it, go for it. You know, but I'll tell you something about education. You don't ever want to stop getting educated. And also, I wanted to add something, too, <laughs> is that you're my prayers, man. I love you. You're my brother. And I want you to know that, uh, you know, maybe we didn't see each other this, this, what is it now? It's winter time here. But, uh, you know, we didn't see each other this time around. You know, springtime up in Colorado will blow you away in many ways, man. <laughs> Mm. Very nice. So I have another, I have a large bottle too of that stuff. And I have some more brewing. And the stuff I have brewing was made from a, a vodka that um, I saved back some of it. And I tasted it and I just, just didn't, it wasn't the, the best quality. So we'll see how that's going to go. But also, I have another way to peel the zest off of uh, my lemons where I leave all the white, all the pith, all the, the pith is the, is the uh, bland, the, not the bland, but the, the bad taste and stuff. Um, bitter, it's bitter tasting. So I got, I got something that I think will work, or I can just take just the zest and make it even a more pure process. So we'll see what this next batch is going to taste like. And I'll probably hear that too, but um, 
I probably won't be making any, too many more shave videos. I mean, I've, I've have, uh, now I've, I kind of run my course, really. I mean, I have nothing, nothing to say. I'm not buying new brushes. I'm not buying new soap. I'm not buying new razors. And there's only nothing to do for me, but I had all of my razors freshly hauled, freshly stropped, and freshly tested for when Marcos came over. He can shave with anyone he wanted, and they would have given him an excellent shave. But next time around, man. All right, man, this is Guy Solis. And remember, even if you're just doing a taste test on your lemoncello, it's still a good day to show off some razors later.